Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody that has a Trotec laser, their laser will not cut this out. Even though it is an RGB red hairline. So I took the carrot one, took it out to the shop, and it wouldn't cut. So maybe somebody will know. They got their they got this file off SD. It was actually a Glow Glowforge file, they said. But if you put some of them have a white majority of them have a white feel. But that should not matter because you're not engraving. So the only thing I could suggest to the gentleman, this page is 12 by 24. I would set my nose distance on 13. <clears throat> and I would just take the smart fill tool. And this is what I had to do to the shop. And I'm just going to nudge all these out of the way. So I'm nudging the smart fill out of the screen. And this would fix your problem for sure because it, well, most definitely would. I'm not going to do them all for the sake of the video. But then you could just go with your pick tool and just delete these. Nudge these back to the exact same spot and left click, right click in that red hairline and it cut out then. I have no clue why it wouldn't cut out before because it's still the same. If we look, it's still an RGB R25500 hairline, which is the same thing for uh, RGB red. And the color shouldn't really matter as long as it's a hairline, it ought to cut. But now it cut. So if you ever run into that problem, just try that. And for the person that bought this file, this is so easy to make. And let's just, you know, anybody could draw that. So let's just take this. They're actually, whoever sold it to them actually had Arial font. And let's change this into a hairline and make it red. And then just type out uh, pepper, all caps, P-E-P-P-E-R. Make it the appropriate size. Maybe make it bold. So a lot of times you have to click off the item and click back on it to make it bold. Then bring it over. Don't do that. Bring it over your file. And of course, some of them are going to have to be longer than others to incorporate the word. But then just left click, right click. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And like I said, you could make your words longer. And then just take all this. And this is a font, so you need to go up to object and convert it to a curve. And then just take this and weld it. That's how easy it is. Now, let's say it's a longer word. Well, very easily, you could make this thing longer by taking your shape tool, grabbing those two nodes, well, just those two nodes, and hitting your control key to make it longer. But then you're going to have less to go in the ground. So you could do this. You could make this longer. And then it would be all the same. So now you could put a, a longer word like grow, please. This is pretty cute. Some of the they have weeds and grow please and spinach. And see, they didn't change the size of the space. They just changed the size of the text on a lot of, like here's one that's quite a bit longer than that one. So instead of paying somebody for an easy file, draw it yourself. I mean, that's that couldn't be easier to draw than just select it all, make sure it's a curve, and weld it, and then that'll cut out for sure. I hope this helped a little bit. Thank